Welcome to Legends with Bevan Jones. Thanks to Anytime Fitness Glenelg and Bickford's Australia. Welcome to another edition of Legends with Bevo, the show where we chat to past and present sports people, entertainment icons and those doing great things in the community and today we're joined by an AFLW legend. Of course the AFLW season kicks off this weekend and the AFL premiers from last year, the Adelaide Crows, that's their second in a few years. Uh, they won of course by 45 points against the Blues in front of a massive crowd of 50,000 people at the Adelaide Oval last year and one of the big parts of that was Anne Hatchard of course who had 24 points. 24 possessions and kicked a goal as well. She's joining us today and great to have you on Legends with Bevo. Cheers, thanks for having me. Absolute pleasure. Now let's talk about last year in front of such a massive crowd, obviously winning the flag um, in really good effort by the team, but playing in front of a crowd like that, how good it must have been. Yeah, it was an incredible experience. Um, you know, our first warm up running out, probably half the stadium was filled and I was just in awe of how many people were there. And we went back in, came back out and the whole stadium was filled and it was just an incredible feeling. It was amazing. And that's your second premiership, of course, you won it in 2017 when you beat the Lions. Um, what was better out of the two? Um, I'd, oh, it's a tough one, I'd say, because the first one, it was the first one, it was pretty incredible, but I think playing, you can't beat playing in front of over 50,000 people, so I reckon the second one definitely topped that one. And this season, season 2020, obviously the Crows are going to be the hunted now after winning the flag and um, now that that's your second in those three seasons. Um, you know, how, how do you see season 2020 going and uh, what have we got to look forward to? Um, yeah, it's going to be another new experience, um, bringing in another few girls, which would be awesome. Um, you know, we've had a few injuries along the way, but we're, um, we're training really well. We've had a strong pre-season, so I can see us having another strong season. Um, and it's really exciting to be playing this weekend, so it's really, yeah, just really awesome to get started this week. And this Saturday, Twilight, 4.40, you take on the Brisbane Lions, who have been a pretty good side. You played against them in the grand final in 2017, yet to taste success, though. Um, how do you match up against the Lions? Um, yeah, so they're a high-pressure team, so um, we've just got to play our footy, um, be nice and composed. Um, the, the weather is looking a bit um, rainy, and a, apparently there's going to be a thunderstorm, so it'll probably be a bit um, wet weather footy, so it'll be just gaining the metres forward and kicking the footy. Um, to um, advantage so hopefully we can do that and hopefully get the win. And your own story, you came from a basketball background, you played for the Sturt Sabres when you were younger, how did you end up playing AFLW? Um, yeah so actually when I was younger playing basketball one of my coaches um, played at Ingle Farm and uh, she said oh you're a bit rough on the basketball court and you should give footy a go when you turn 16 so um, as soon as I turned 16 went out to the training and absolutely loved it so I juggled um, both those sports for quite a while. And you've still got an interest in basketball as well. Do you play socially outside of footy or not allowed to? Um, so this year, um, sorry, last year I actually played a bit of Premier League um, in the off season, which was good fun to get back into it because I was missing it a lot. Um, but yeah, footy is my main priority at the moment. So in the off season, if I do have time, I do like to shoot some hoops. And you wouldn't believe this because of the shape they're in now, but you've actually had a, a bit of a battle with your weight loss. Uh, well, with your weight, sorry. Talk us through that. Yeah, so when I first started, um, I was young, a bit immature, um, and didn't really have elite standards. So I was a bit bigger, um, so I was 82 kilos in the first season. Um, and then after the first two seasons, um, I was getting dropped, wasn't really performing, and I thought I want to do something to, you know, cement my spot in the, in the team. So um, went in the off season, worked really hard and came back and currently sitting at 70 kilos, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, and look at the shape you're in as well. Watch out, uh, watch out midfield <laughs> this year. <laughs> and you've got a really close relationship as well with Alan String Stringer, shout out to Strings, who I had recently on Legends with Bevo. He speaks really highly of you. Um, how did that relationship all start? Yeah, so I actually met him um, at a gig um, at Walkerville Footy Club. So um, we both were speakers there. So he spoke about um, mental health and about all his journey, which was really awesome to listen to. And he took me under his wing and looked after me the whole day there, um, which was really awesome. So um, he's kind of a mentor for me now, which is really awesome. So it was, yeah, it's just awesome that 
footy you can just meet these people at these um, events so and make new friendships. And in terms of funny teammates, I've spoken to uh, Elliot Hewerberg last year and um, I love hearing about the stories within the, within the change rooms. The girls uh, get around a bit of banter and, uh, you know, who's a prankster, I guess, within the Adelaide Crows women's side? Oh, uh, there's a few funny ones. Um, Noffy can be quite funny, um, cause a bit of a racket. But the funniest thing is Justine Mule's laugh. So as soon as she starts laughing, everyone just starts laughing because even if the joke or the prank's not funny, as soon as she's laughing, that, that just makes everything funny. And footy clubs are just the best, aren't they? It's the, just being around that environment and stuff. And, um, you know, it feels like you're, obviously you, you are getting paid for it, but it doesn't feel like you're, you know, at work as such because you're just around great people. And I certainly miss out playing footy. Is that the same way you feel as well? Yeah, we're definitely, it's like having, 29 other sisters they're just awesome to you know you might have had a hard day at work you get to come here and you they're all around you just making you feel better so it's just awesome to yeah it doesn't really feel like work um, so it's just awesome to have all these girls around and I've been told that you do the worm as well you're a bit of a <laughs> bit of a star doing this uh, talking us through this so um, after the first season um, I did show the worm um, in our um, celebration so um, maybe if we win another premiership, I can bring it out again. <laughs> <laughs> can we see this on YouTube or anything, or on the Crows no, page? Or, no, no, it's not, not anywhere, but um, maybe someone can capture it um, this year. <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> now, obviously, uh, reality TV is taking over Australia and the world. Um, we've got Maths, MKR, Survivor, the list goes on. Do you and the girls get around that as well? Um, a little bit, especially because um, former teammate Abby Holmes is on Survivor. Um, we like to watch that. and. Um, we have a few huge Survivor fans, so MJ absolutely loves it. So if you want to know anything Survivor, she's the go-to. Yep, so you reckon Abs is a chance to win this year's Survivor? Or? Yep, she's yep. a good chance. Uh, I'm put my money on her. <laughs> there you go. And just finally, uh, what outside interests do you have um, other than playing uh, footy or basketball, Ann? Um, so other interests, I love to go to the beach, um, riding my bike, um, and I am a... A big foodie. I love going out for brunch. So I go around to all the different cafes and try and find my favourite coffee and my favourite meal. No doubt you obviously eat pretty healthy to be in the shape that you are, so you're doing yeah. something right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, Anne Hatchard, thanks so much for joining us today on Legends with Bevo. All the very best against Brisbane and for the season 2020 ahead. And I look forward to speaking again soon. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thanks to Maddie for filming for us, to uh, Kira Lee and the Crows girls um, for letting us film down here as well. See you next time, guys.